Hello everyone, thanks for watching the Davy Nutrition uh, latest update video. So look, it's been a, a challenging period and a great time for reflection, looking at areas of our lives that we can really improve and things that we know that we can do that a little bit better. So now we're getting closer to having an opportunity to put those skills, habits, routines into practice as we uh, get back to a level of normality and go back in particular to a higher level of training. So over the past couple of weeks and months, you will have really focused, I have no doubt, on maintaining, maintaining a level of fitness, maintaining a level of muscle mass and uh, maintaining your body composition. So now it's about adjusting those elements to make sure that you're in a position to raise the intensity when you are training. So once we get back into once you get back into collective training, there I go. I I still consider myself a, a team sport athlete. Um, <clears throat> once you get back into a position where you're going to go back training, you got to think about the kind of key areas that are going to help you perform at your best. So first of all, energy intake is going to be that little bit higher. So you're going to in in some cases it might be a lot higher. Uh, or it could be less depending on how much training you've been doing over the past while. But certainly it needs to be looked at. Are you meeting your daily energy uh, intake requirements? So I have a performance-based cal calculator that I'm using um, and that my pro members are using um, to give them more accurate uh, feedback on what energy they need on a day-to-day on a -day basis based on activity level and, of course, body composition and, and weight. Uh, but for you, you can use my book or you can use the simple calculation of doing nothing. You multiply your body weight by uh, 25, uh, sorry, your body weight in kilos by 25. If you're doing a moderate level of activity, it's 30. If you're doing a moderate to high level of activity, it's 35 to 40. So for me at the moment, I'm doing a, a decent amount of physical activity. So I would mu multiply my weight, uh, which is 82 kilos by 35. And that would give me somewhere in the region of 2,800, even 3,000 uh, 3, calories for days. Uh, I'm, I'm highly active. So looking at those little measurements would give you a better insight of what your need, energy needs are. Next is carbohydrate. Carbohydrate will have been likely moderate uh, over the last number of weeks and months you may need higher intakes of carbohydrate as the intensity of your training starts to increase. Then look at other simple things. Making sure you've got the snacks available um, uh, for the food that you need to fuel your body for those sessions. Have those available and look at your meal timings again because if you're training in the evening, you need to make sure that during the day that you've consumed enough that your body is going to be energized and, and prepared to do those sessions. And afterwards, good combination of carbohydrate and protein. And make sure you have little, um, you, you've got your acids, you know, your key things that are going to help you uh, help you perform at a high level in, in, in training. And that's simply having your sports drinks ready, having your snacks ready for afterwards. They're your kind of key acids. They're part of your training kit and your tools. Little tips, I hope those helped. Um, those, if you start getting those things into your mindset and even writing down a couple of notes about what you need, that's going to be very useful for to you as you build back into training. Also, I can't let you go without mentioning my pro membership. My pro membership gives you a performance-based calculator to calculate your energy needs specifically, meal plans for, for competitive sport, fat loss, um, building muscle mass, wide range of meal plans and and, and, and just as importantly, articles and videos that are going to su really support those uh, those goals. So, oh geez, I nearly forgot about the recipes too. Loads of recipes with macronutrients, carbohydrate, protein and fat uh, are going to be a part of that pro membership uh, package as well. So definitely something to consider if you are looking to gain a competitive edge as you get back into a competitive season. Look, I hope you're all keeping really well. I hope you've been enjoying the content. Uh, and uh, I look forward to seeing everybody's recipes and, and everyone really getting back out there and enjoying their, their, their sports again. Okay, that's all for me for now.